The natural history of a golf course is largely all about grass. In 1995, the last flock of sheep were sold at Carmarthen Market and Kevin Golai Farm became Gower Golf Club. Grassland management over the years has thinned out the coarse grasses and allowed wild flowers to establish. Weed spraying is kept to a minimum and this allows plants such as sorrel to grow. The cuckoo spit protects frog hopper bugs, which then are fed on by birds such as chiff chaffs. In amongst the grass, field voles feed on the tender shoot tips. The voles make tunnels and holes. The holes are often used by bumblebees. Barn owls hunt the voles in the evening. The robin is a regular visitor and waits for the ground to be disturbed, dropping down to pick up grubs and worms. Blackbirds look for worms in the short grass and the male will often sing to maintain his territory. On the short grass of the green, you can often find green woodpecker droppings the green woodpecker is often seen around the course and has a distinctive yaffle. And there is our woodpecker dropping, so often in a question mark shape. If you break it open and have a look inside, you'll find out what the woodpecker eats. Beetle jaws, wings, ant legs, millipedes, a whole variety. The rough in the playing areas needs to be cut, but in sensitive places paths can be made to allow wild flowers to seed. Here, southern marsh orchid is growing well. The variety of flowers enables insects and spiders to flourish. Myriad bugs feed on plant sap and are food for many birds. Cockchafer grubs are loved by rooks and moles. The life cycle might take three years and the adults emerge en masse in May and are eaten by song thrushes, blackbirds and crows. Bramble patches act as a nursery for many types of tree. Caterpillars eat the leaves, bees visit the flowers and dunnocks nest in the thick cover. Woodland edge is very important for flowers such as foxglove. Here it is being visited by the garden bumblebee. Rose Bay willow herb, or fireweed, has the highest nectar content of any wild flower and is an important energy source. The leaves are eaten by the elephant hawk moth caterpillar. The old ivy coated oak trees provide nesting sites for wrens and nuthatches. The cracked branches allow bats to roost, beetles to breed, and holes are homes for the tawny owl. Grey squirrels can cause considerable damage to young trees and can strip back the bark in hours, causing branches to die.
Red kites nested in the next valley for the first time in 2016 and they are regular visitors to the golf course. Badgers will visit at night, leaving neat dung pits at the side of the fairway. A closer look at the dung shows what the badger is eating. This one is partial to beetles. The Gower Golf Course has a stream running through it and this feeds several ponds. Ponds are important in any area as a breeding site for many creatures such as damselflies, dragonflies, pond skaters, herons hunt on the margins. Frogs breed. Pied wagtails pick up insects at the edge of the pond. The small stream that runs out of the grounds is used by kingfisher and otter. And then there is the night shift. Owls, moths, bats, foxes, badgers, all emerge when we go to bed.